welcome to Bethan's Kitchen and Garden. Today I wanted to show you um, the progress I've made around um, the garden with a few bits and bobs, a few jobs I wanted to get done. Some I have got done and some I haven't. And I thought while I was here I'd show you how um, my plants that are overwintering are getting on as well. So let's go for a wander around and I'll talk you through how things are doing. I'm huddling in the greenhouse and everything is a bit untidy at the moment because um, I've got a couple of jobs waiting on other things. For example, these pelagoniums need cutting down, but I was waiting for the um, hot bin composter to get going so I could put the um, off cuts in there. If I bring it round here, I chopped away all the foliage on my potatoes because um, they had all died anyway. So maybe in the next video we'll unearth some of these potatoes and uh, and see what's occurring in those parts. I don't need to do them all, but um, maybe we'll do some. Similarly, if I bring around here, um, these pots are the same. There's potatoes in them and I've just cut off the foliage. I decided to leave this pelagonium going just to have a bit of colour through the um, winter. I have broad beans in these six pots. They are just poking their heads through now, as are the ones at the front. They've taken a while to get going, but they are getting going now. And in this um, tray, I've got some garlic, which I started... Um, and the roots are coming through so I've got some pots to put them in as well I need to empty the pots and uh, plant up those garlic this is my broccoli rab which um, is beginning to get some florets on and this is where I kind of get a bit confused with broccoli rab because to me this is the growing tip the, like the growing stem and if I harvest this now at the bottom here then I'm not sure if anything else is going to grow on the plant but I can see if I leave it much longer then there's a chance this will blow or you know set, go to flower rather so um, I'm never very sure on the broccoli rab but there are little florets coming on all of them now so I'm pleased with that and what I might do is just take a few of these outer leaves because they should be fine you know with a, a bit of greenery with your dinner and um, and if anybody has good experience with broccoli rab then please advise me on the best way to harvest it but um, these have grown since uh, I did my last update um, which is really good and um, my rocket is growing as well everything grows quite slow in the winter I'm gonna get some microgreens off as well because um, they can grow on my windowsill in the house and they'll grow a lot quicker my rosemary plant is still doing well my uh, camellia sinesis plant seems to be doing okay it does have some green green uh, buds there which aren't focusing but um, that means that, 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 that it is still growing uh, my mint in this pot is doing okay and the rest have sort of died over just around the back of the greenhouse I've got these two water butts back from the allotment they are not um, rigged up at the moment um, I haven't had a chance to do it and um, my dad has done the IBC containers which I'll show you but these two need to be um, hooked up really to gather some rainwater from from the greenhouse I don't know if I've shown you my homemade compost heap um, which that was believe it or not that was full to the top about two weeks ago it's all sunk 
which I'm only hoping means that at the bottom there is a lovely load of compost. Uh, uh, can't really see through the wire. I can see some cardboard, so I need to give that a bit of a turn, really. My compost, hot green composter, is now up and running. I um, I filmed that vlog about 20 minutes ago, so um, nothing more to report on there. But my brassicas in the cold frame are growing as well. They are um, bulking out quite a lot. And um, I have noticed at this time of year, if you want to check how your plants are growing, then tend to have a look at the stems because they tend to be thicker. So it does look like not much is going on, but um, the stems are thickening. And I do have one garlic shoot coming through. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it is there. That's a garlic shoot. But there's no sign of oh yes, there is. There's the other there's the other one there. There's one one there. Sorry, it's quite awkward to get into this cold frame to be honest. Um but yeah, the garlic is coming through as well. If I just come up to the house here is one of my IBC containers. This holds a thousand litres. Now it's Sunday today and my dad rigged that up on Wednesday. So you can see how much rain we've had and how much water is gathered in uh, four or five days. And I'll show you the one at the front which is almost full as well. Just standing in my mini greenhouse now with my Charlotte potatoes, three seed potatoes in a 30 litre bucket. And um, again, I'm gonna do a potato reveal very soon because I'm really eager to see what's going on in there. And just at the top are my Turks turban squash. And over here are my pumpkins. This is my other IBC container, which um, if you I don't know if you can pick it up, but it is almost full. And my dad sat, set that up on Monday, and it's now oh, Sunday, so that is six days of rainwater gathered in that. That is unbelievable, honestly. It didn't collect half, like a quarter of that much when it was over the allotment for almost six to eight weeks. Here is my cat jumping on my bed. Get down, Amber. I've never seen her do that before. And now she's ruined my onions. I haven't shown you this bed before, but um, yeah, that's ruined now. So I'll have to plug that gap, maybe. So let me just stand back a bit and show you my um, this was the trailer bed that I didn't have up and running last time. It's just up from where I did the raised bed there. And I've got this little surround at the bottom, which I'm going to fill with soil and I'm going to grow peas. So peas will hopefully grow up here, short peas like meteor. And, uh, and then I'll have the onions growing in here. I can't believe my cat just did that. Ugh. So anyway, these are Senshu onions. They, um, I planted these out about three, maybe two or three weeks ago. And they haven't put on much growth, but I wouldn't expect them to really because it's done nothing but being really cold or being really wet. And similarly down here are my shallots. These are, well, they're not showing any sign of fresh growth at the moment, but I wouldn't expect them yet. And then if I come down here, that's garlic. That's garlic. There's little, little shoots of garlic poking its head up. 
so that's really encouraging at least the garlic is growing if nothing else is and I've just taken the netting off this side so I can show you the broad beans I've just covered them with these cloches today well they're not cloches but you know I've got two left two little ones which um, I need to cover over just just to give them a little bit of protection from the wind um, I brought these nine bottles back from the allotment which I was using in the summer um, and I was using them sort of the other way around so that that end would be in the soil and I could um, bury it in the soil uh, and water the roots further down rather than water the top of the soil I would be watering the roots and if I come over to here there's more garlic but uh, um, I think it's a bit hard to pick it up but I think all the garlic I planted has come through and all the broad beans I've planted have come through and the beetroot well he said about that the better really Amber get off the bed thank you I'm back in my greenhouse now I just come in to say goodbye really and um, that's what's occurring around here at the moment there is still absolutely loads I need to get done and the weather is not playing ball because it's just so cold. I'm going in now because um, it's two o'clock and my daughter's got a party to go to at three. So I won't be able to get much more done today. I was hoping to get the potato reveal done, but um, you just have to wait for that until next time. So all I can say about, um, well, especially the water collection in those bats is lovely job thank you for watching liking and subscribing if you have done so and please consider doing if not and please visit for the next time thank you very much bye bye take care bye bye